Hello. This tutorial is all about the item button in the Guinness's POS terminal. In retail, the most important things are the items to be sold. So records of all the items or item related data must be maintained in the POS. The item button takes care of all the operations related to items. Let us see the options available in the item button. To access the item button, you can either click the item button or hit the F2 key on the keyboard. We see the list of options, search by name, download item, add comment, assign salesperson and clear salesperson. Let's start with search by name. So we click the button and the select item window opens. Type in the keywords, for instance we say a tie. Now below you can see some buttons. The expand view button expands the select item window and the restore view button restores the window. The view stock button shows the available stock in the stock points. The add to bill button adds the item to the bill and the close button closes the window. Now, it may happen that the item details are not present in the local database, but the item is physically present. To get the details, we download it from the web server. To do so, we click the download item button. The online item download window opens. We scan the item or enter the barcode. Clicking the download button, the details would show up once the item is downloaded. Click save to save the item to the local database. Please note that if the download item button is disabled, then you need to get it enabled through the HO. Now we click the amend button. This would open the enter remarks window. Note that an item has to be selected in the item display area in order to attach the comment to it. In our case, the item is already selected. Type in the comment in the remarks box and click on OK. You can also access the item comment by hitting the shortcut keys Ctrl plus 4. The item comment is shown below the item display area. Note that the item comment can be edited in an unsaved bill by selecting the item and clicking the item comment again. Now we would assign a salesperson to the item. Remember that once assigned, the salesperson stands default to the item. By clicking the assign salesperson button, the select salesperson window opens up. Search for the salesperson, choose the name and click the select button. The salesperson is selected and shown below the item display area. However, you can also assign the salesperson by hitting the shortcut keys Control plus 3. To remove the salesperson, we click the clear salesperson button. So, We've gone through all the operations of the item button. To know more about Guinness's boss, you could go through our videos on the Guinness's channel. Thank you.